Magalab shout out everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about some technical terms used in research. If you are new to my channel, please signify from what school you are so I would know my audience. And if this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribe my channel. Please also share so we can help others. And please hit the notification bell so that you'll be updated with all the videos that I'll be uploading in the future. Before I begin, I would like to congratulate you all for finishing your lessons gracefully from first to third quarter. Even if, if we still have to adjust with our current learning situation, we were still able to make it, we were still able to deliver up to this time. And I guess we are now ready to begin with our new lesson. So, let's start. again grade 10 students and now let's get started please get ready with your paper and pen if you wish to jot some important information that would be great and for today's lesson our content standard the learner demonstrates understanding of how world literature and other text types serve as instrument to resolve social conflicts also how to use the language of research campaigns and advocacies our performance standard the learner completely presents a research report on a relevant social cultural issue our objective at the end of the lesson students are expected to distinguish technical terms used in research so what is your idea and what is the first thing comes to your mind when you heard research? And what are the different activities you were expected to do when you are conducting research? What is research? According to the Wikipedia researches, creative and systematic work undertaken to increase the stock of knowledge. It involves the collection, organization, and analysis of information to increase understanding of a topic or issue. A research project may be an expansion on past work in the field. Another definition of research research is defined as systematic process to answer questions about facts and relationship between facts. It is an activity involved in seeking answer to an unanswered question. Research is a scientific, systematic, controlled, orderly, and objective investigation to develop, refine, and expand body of knowledge. This seeks to generate an answer to the problems as well as suggesting additional questions in need of further inquiry. The purpose of research is to enhance society by advancing knowledge through the development of scientific theories, concepts, and ideas. A research purpose is met through forming hypotheses, collecting data, analyzing results, forming conclusions, implementing findings into real-life applications, and forming new research questions. And these are some of the technical terms we need to remember that is used in research. We have abstract, analysis, appendix, assumption, bibliography, citation, concept, conceptual framework, conclusion, construct, data analysis, data collection, demographic variables, hypothesis, literature review, limitations, population, proposition, reliability, research setting, research variable, sample, sampling, validity, the variables, and an independent variable. Abstract is a clear, concise summary that communicates the essential information about the study. In research journals it is usually located at the beginning of an article. 
synthesis it is a method of organizing, sorting and scrutinizing data in such a way that research question can be answered or meaningful inferences can be drawn. In this section, you should describe how you went about analyzing the data. You also have to explain why and how the particular procedure for data analysis was employed. And you also need to address the issue of reliability in data coding and analysis. Appendix. It contains supplementary material that is not an essential part of the text itself, but which may be helpful in providing a more comprehensive understanding of the research problem. Or it is information that is too cumbersome to be included in the body of the paper. Assumption. Basic principle that is being true on the basis of logical reason without proof or verification. Citation the act of acknowledging or documenting a reference source used in preparing an assignment, report or project. It is also described as documentation. A full citation lists accurate information about author, title, publication date and related facts. Concept. Refers to a mental idea of a phenomenon. Concept or words or terms that symbolize some aspect of reality. Example, love. Next is conceptual framework. It is interrelated concepts or abstractions that are assembled together in some rational scheme by virtue of their relevance to a common theme. It is also referred to as theoretical framework. Construct is a highly abstract and complex phenomenon concept which is denoted by a made up or constructed term. Conclusion a brief summary of how the results of an experiment support or contradict a hypothesis. Data analysis the process by which data are organized to better understand patterns of behavior within the target population. Data analysis is an umbrella term that refers to many particular forms of analysis such as content analysis, cost-benefit analysis, network analysis, path analysis, regression analysis, etc. Data collection refer to the devices instruments used to collect data, such as a paper questionnaire or computer-assisted interviewing system case studies, checklists, interviews, observation sometimes, and surveys, or questionnaires are all tools used to collect data. Demographic variables the characteristics and attributes of the study subjects such as age, gender, place of living, educational status, religion, social class, marital status, occupation, income are considered as demographic variables. Hypothesis a statement of the predicted relationship between two or more variables in a research study, an educated or calculated guess by the researcher. Literature review a critical summary or research on a topic of interest, generally prepared to put a research problem in context, or to identify gaps and weaknesses, in prior studies as to justify a new investigation. Limitations restrictions in a study that may decrease the credibility and generalizability of the research findings. Manipulation and intervention or treatment introduced by the researcher, in an experimental or quasi-experimental study, the researcher manipulates the independent variable to ask as it impact on the dependent variable. Population the entire set of individuals, or objects having some common characteristics, selected for a research study, referred to as population. Proposition of proposition is a statement or assertion of the relationship between concepts. Reliability the degree of consistency, or accuracy with which an instrument, measures the attributes it is designed to measure. Research setting The study setting is the location in which the research is conducted. It could be natural, partially controlled environment or laboratories. Research variable refers to qualities, properties or characteristics, which are observed or measured in a natural setting, without manipulating and establishing cause and effect relationship. Sample a part or subset of population selected to participate in the research study. Sampling the process of selecting sample from the target population to represent the entire population. Validity the degree to which an instrument what it is intended to measure. Variables attributes or characteristics that can have more than one value, such as height or weight. Variables are qualities or quantities, properties or characteristics of people, things, or situations that change or vary. Independent variable variables that are purposely manipulated or changed by the researcher. It is also called as manipulated variable. Alright, so we are done sharing with you some of the different terminologies that you have to remember when you are writing or research. Our activity 
you may answer immediately in the Google form that I've sent you in our group chat and please send immediately your score. The answers will be flashed after each sentence. What you're going to do is you're going to identify the terminologies referred in the following sentence. Let's begin.